what a lot of people don't realize is that Capcom is marching to a different beat and playing a different tune. No, this game is not bad, it is just not as cookie cutter as you might be led to believe. After Just Cause 2 came out, which allowed people to essentially break the physics of the world and do whatever they wanted, people seem to want exactly that from Lost Planet 2 as well. Well, shockingly enough, just because both of them feature a grappling hook does not mean that they absolutely need to be the same game. That is not the case at all. Lost Planet 2 reviewed extremely terribly, at least from the professional reviewers, but it is a very fun game. Capcom has lately been making polished games in the spirit of the sadly deceased arcade games of yesteryear. We were much more understanding with Street Fighter 4 because it was a much more safe title. It's basically an enhanced version of Street Fighter 2 and the formula is already nailed down so we had no problem with that. It's very easy to pick up and play where you can dive into a game, curse a lot and have fun and then take a break. Obviously, these maps in Lost Planet 2 take a little more time than three minutes, but a very similar spirit is here as well. Lost Planet 2 doesn't play like Gears of War or Just Cause 2, which threw a lot of people off. It is not a bad game though, it just takes a little getting used to. Just because we're not familiar with it does not mean that it is horrible. Lost Planet 2 is its own game, and that's one of the reasons why it is so awesome. Lost Planet 2 is badass as well. Gone is the weird ass thermal energy from the first game, at least in the way that it was utilized in that first game. It's actually still here, but it's used more for recovery and special weapons instead. There are a good deal of different weapons that all handle differently, and it kicks a ton of ass to take out some of these huge ass bosses. This is definitely a breed of boss that you don't see too often, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. Lost Planet 2 is a game where you play with three other people over the internet. That's just the way it works. It is co-op based and when you aren't playing with other humans, the fill-in AI players suck and it is not fun. This is not exactly a bad thing though. Capcom chose to focus its resources not on balancing some BS AI, but instead improving the game that they actually intended you to play. It's limiting, at least a little bit, but ultimately for the better. The lack of a decent co-op AI actually encourages more people to play the co-op online, and when judging the actual reality of the situation rather than what's most ideal, it's probably for the best that way too. And besides, when you play a game of Monopoly or some goofball board game like that, you're by Buying it for the multiplayer experience. You buy Lost Planet 2 for the same reason. It's not for everyone, but it is great for the people that it is intended for. The co-op experience can vary depending on whether the people you're playing with enjoy talking and strategizing, although some of my most fun gameplay moments from this year came out of the killer dramatic battles where none of us really knew what to expect and what was about to come at us, yet we had to stay on our game and never stop coming up with solutions. The infamous train level that so many people, at least the professional reviewers hated, takes the cake for some freaky ass moments where the gameplay just gets intense and the people who complained about, oh no, getting knocked off the train, it's so unfair. They are just full of it and barely attempted to play this game. It is not broken, it is just fun. I haven't even begun to talk about the versus multiplayer, but it is there for the people who love it as well. Nothing else on the market really plays like Lost Planet 2's versus multiplayer. In addition to all of the standard modes, the addition of mech suits and grappling hook all add depth and unique gameplay, making this a very fun and still well-rounded title. The game does have depth and nuances that can be learned over a period of time. Are there downsides to Lost Planet 2? Yeah, a few. There's a few slow moments in the story mode, and it occasionally bugs out in weird ways. I mostly have no problem with the controls, but there were a couple situations I feel led to my death that were slightly unfair, although I was able to learn to contend with it. There's a couple of missions that are slightly more dry than the others, where the crazy giant monsters take a backseat to more traditional enemies. Overall though, this is a very stellar title. It's a little awkward at first, and at times maybe it could have used a little more polish, but it is worth getting used to. Lost Planet 2 for the Xbox 360 receives a 9 out of 10.